Good morning and welcome back to Bang Nong Tao. We're here at the Nong, Te, Nong Tao homestay. If you've seen yesterday's review of the homestay while we're on the Hong Song Loop, then I take a little bit of it back. It is very basic, but you've got to take it on its merits. Take it for what it is, it's a very, very relaxing place. I mean, I come here expecting Wi Fi and things like that, but to get the Wi-Fi you've got to go to a building over there which we're going to go to for breakfast I'll just put, put a walk over in a minute uh, but it's just very relaxing it's very basic there's electric but no Wi-Fi down here I've got my bag all packed up ready to go it's only 7.30am there's nothing else to do I may as well just may as well go go and get some breakfast and head off back to Chiang Mai the last leg of the May Hun Song Loop. It's been a good 10 days on the road. I've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it too. We look back at their last vlogs if you haven't seen them already. But, um, all of the places where I've stayed, I've reviewed all, all the towns. We've had a look around, a little, investigate, little investigating of the towns. It's been canny. It's been canny a few days, uh, 10 days. Right, we'll get this closed up. And then have a little walk over to where you go for breakfast because this is a little place where I found last night where it's just a little chill out area and it was just like a little dust and a rain and had nice rainbows going over the hills talking about the hills there's Don Inton on there I don't know if you can make that out properly but the rolling mist over the over the mountain Looks amazing. Well, this is a nice little, it's an old paddy fields as you're walking over towards where the, like the restaurant part of the of the homestay is, and the Wi-Fi. I wanted to get work done yesterday, but it is what it is. Read the reviews properly. <laughs> but this is where I parked myself last night. A couple of cans of beer, music on, on my phone, and yeah, I laid one of them mats out, and that was my view last night for a few beers, very relaxing, and I was in bed for 10 o'clock, early night, not a lot else to do, it's, it's a very, very relaxing place. If you want to come and get away from everything, away from work, and then this is the place to be. It's just not what I expected, so it was a bit of a shock when I got here last night, that was all. It was canny. It was expensive for what it was. I mean, let's be honest, it was a, it was a bed in a shed. <laughs> the mozzies weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. That was a bonus. So yeah, it was a canny night, it was a canny night. You've got to take it for its merits. It's not everyone has got to be the same. I, I wanted to come for work and Wi-Fi. It was deceptive because this is a place where you've got to go for the Wi-Fi. Well, it's a nice place. Very relaxing. Right, I'll get finished off here, get the bike packed up, and we'll get on the road. Well, this is where you come up for breakfast at the Nong Tao homestay. That's where I stayed just over there, in them huts. That's where I was last night, in that little one. That's a nice place. Let's have breakfast, it's up there, with tea. There's a the name, Nong Tao Homestay. Get the shins on. There's a little cat chilling out. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Shall I just leave the key in the door when I leave? 
Yes. Okay, cool Thank cup. You. Thank you for a nice day. Thank you, you too. Right, we out there. Yeah, breakfast was canny. Simple, omelette, over rice, and uh, some grape for uh, melon, which was nice. A lot of plants there. Yeah, and a, pot, a little pot of tea. Like a bit of milk in me tea, though. It's not the same without it. <laughs> right, today we've got about 40 miles to go to get back to Chiang Mai. Well, about 45, I think it's about 70 kilometres to get back to Chiang Mai. She was laughing at me there, she says, the little, uh, the little hut where I'm staying, that front veranda bit. I had a few cans in there last night and I was having a little dance about the Jim Morrison. <laughs> uh, yeah, I must have looked aside, like someone having a fit. Right, we'll get packed up and get on the bike, get ready to go. All right, we're all packed up and ready to go. Nong Tao Homestay, would I stay again? No, probably not. I'm kicking on for 50 and uh, I like me a few home comforts. 20 years ago, most definitely. Or if you're just looking for something to kick back and get away from everything or just go to nature, then it's perfect. This is a perfect place for you. It is a little expensive for what it is. It's a bed in a shed, but it, it is what it says on the tin. It's a relaxing stay, nothing more. Right, let's get back to Chiang Mai. See what's happening see if we can find anything on the way uh, i've seen a few elephant sanctuaries and things like that but i don't really agree with that you're going to be kind to of an elephant let it get back out in the wild uh, and oh one other thing there was a a tannoy announcement that i heard about seven o'clock this morning very loud i asked the girl when uh, in reception what what it was just out of curiosity and the leader of the village, it is Karen Hill Village, Hill Tribe Village, but they don't wear the rings and that. Um, and it was the leader of the village saying somebody had died through the night of old age. And um, and they were, they all, they're all going to go to the house to pay their respects. And that was what it was, yeah, seven o'clock seven o'clock this morning. It was a, a bit of a strange one when you hear, when you hear it. Right, let's get on the road. And see if there's anything to find on the way back to Chiang Mai. I'm quite looking forward to getting back. Let's see what we can see. Here's something you don't see every day. Some buffalo just kicking about. Got a bit of an itch there. Oh, the size of them big powerful things. The horns are impressive. Here's another load of them down here. Not with them ones. Hey, little baby one. Cute. Just chilling by the side of the road. I've got someone by there holding them up. See what else we can find. We've just gone past a sign, Ele coffee with elephants. I'd rather not. I know, I know, before you say anything, it's another temple. But there's three reasons why I've stopped at this one. One, it's halfway to give your bony ass a rest. Two, it's got one of my favourite things to do in Thailand. Ring a bell. And three, the blue roof looks nice, different. I'll go up there and ring that on the way out. Oh, that is a nice one. 
but no idea where we're at. We're about uh, 45 minutes outside of Chiang Mai. And that is rather impressive. Very, very, very shiny, very sunny, shiny, sunny, very sunny there. There's not a lot going on around here. I've seen a couple of monks drinking about further over that way. Well, yeah, that's rather impressive. Looks like they've just been getting a bit of block paving done. Let's see if we can make our way up here. Up this little staircase. Right. Tight fit with me bag on. <laughs> Very tight fit. Don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Come out there, give me a look. There's no arm. Bell's there to be rang, isn't it? No one can tell me that they see a bell and don't want to ring it. That's the whole point of making the bell. To be rung. Right. Betty's eagerly awaiting to get back to Chiang Mai so she can get washed. Back on the road. The dog's having a little chat there. And we're in Chiang Mai. Back in the bustling city of Chiang Mai. We're in the Hat Yai Hat area and I'm going to show you my accommodation for the next week. Pretty basic, Thai guest house. Nara House. Cool. That lovely radio owns it or runs it as you come through a little seating area there's a welcome to Chiang Mai you get free tea and coffee all day you can just go and get them wherever you want I'll be using that a lot love me tea right and this is where I walk down. Well, like I said, pretty basic, but it's got everything you need. And I'm only here for a week. Oh, that little staircase. I'm on the second floor. 202. Straight opposite school, so. Uh, on a date line, when they're at school. Uh, but uh, it's not too bad. I've only been in here for an hour, so <laughs> I don't even know yet. Right, there's the room. You got a little workstation there. MacBook's uploading away. There's my Bezzy Cathy. And our little ready ornament. My little dog, my little dog ornament. Ready at home. There's the brolly, my gun brolly I got from Bangkok. That goes everywhere with me. <laughs> Paid 120 baht for that. Wardrobe. Just a standard triple wardrobe. We've all seen a wardrobe, haven't we? Bathroom. Pretty basic, normal bathroom. Shower. 
Works, Connie. What one of them? Sink, toilet, bum gun. Need the bum gun. I got straight in the shower as soon as I got here because I couldn't have one at that uh, at Nante Homestay because it was absolutely freezing and the bathroom wasn't very clean to be honest. Uh, we have the bed. Uh, Aircon. We've got a fan. Everyone needs a fan. And a little balcony out the back. Should have turned the aircon off really. Yeah, there's got a little sink area there. Looks out to the front where I've got Betty parked. There's the school. And yeah, there's the mountains up the background there. It's a tap. Toys to tap. So back in the hustle and bustle of Chiang Mai. Big change from being in the mountains. I'm glad to be back to be honest. It was uh, some places it was a bit much. It was a struggle to find places to eat at times. It's really been off so you had rainy season and little window there. And I've also got a fridge. Nice big fridge. You need a fridge. Especially when you're going to need me milk for, uh, for my tea. And a few beers for the night. Always comes in handy. Now this place is £10 a night. And that's for everything included. No electric, anything like that. So it's about $12, $13, something like that. And there's supposed to be a widescreen TV. Satellite TV. But to my bemusement, there wasn't, so I went down and had a word with her, and she just laughed it off. <laughs> she just said, oh no, no, I hasn't got a TV no more. But what? I paid for a TV? Just, just, so yeah, she just laughed at me. So, <laughs> not overly pleased about that. This afternoon, I'll be going up to try and extend my visa at uh, Chiang Mai Immigration. So, if you want to catch that vlog, I'll be posting it up tomorrow and we'll see how I get on. I have been told in places, when I've been looking at places, uh, to be, it should have been there at 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'm, it's Friday now, I might have to go on Monday. But we'll see how I get on this afternoon, you never know, I might get it done. So if you want to catch up with that one, and the rest of my adventures, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps with the algorithm, especially with the new channel. And hit the notifications, but if you want to be notified of the next, next vlogs. Have a good day, guys. Goodbye from Chiang Mai.